Hello there. I don't know what that intro was, but hi everyone and welcome to my Christmas channel. Yes, it's December, so Misha is literally going to be wearing different headwear in each video. Well, we might see some repeats, but we'll see. I think this one is my personal fave because it says Elfie and I always think of, let me take a selfie, but it's like, let me take an Elfie. Okay, I'm going to shut up and get on with the video. So today's video is a, a part two, basically, of testing Chinese clothing brands. So today's options are Dressling and Yoins. Yeah, this is just a Christmas special because we're in December, so I'm making it Christmassy. To be fair, quite a few of these items would make amazing gifts. So gift inspiration and a haul and testing Asian brands all in one. So let's get going. And I will link my top down below. And this necklace is about five years old from Topshop. And my headband's from Poundland. And my tree is from Marks and Spencers. And I love Christmas. So yeah, let's go. You know when you get too excited to film and um, you forget half the items. So yeah, as I've got this bad boy in front of me, I may as well start with dress link. So, how cute is this damn bag? Like what? It's even got like the Gucci inspired strap. I'm loving it. And it's just embellished, it's white. It's kind of got like, I mean, it does have like major Gucci vibes. And Misha can't undo the bag, there we go. In here we've got a zipper pocket. We've got some rubbish. Yeah, very spacious for such a little bag. I'm very impressed. And I love any bag that goes crossbody because like, I'm lazy and I don't want to have to carry around a bag. So this is just a really easy, practical bag. And let's check how much this was because I'm pretty sure it was a bargain. It has been a bit squished in the packet. So I feel like it needs some like stretching and shaping. Okay, this bag was only 11 pounds. That is, oh, 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 my Elfie's going, my Elfie's going. That is Bargain Central. This bag seems to love me and I've got caught around me. But I was also thinking, if I could undo myself, what have I done? You can just take the strap off and use it on other bags as well. I don't think you could really take this bag as a clutch because it's a little bit too big, like you'd be a bit like that. But you can use the strap on others and you could use a different strap on this one. So say you don't want to wear any red, you could grab, say, a gold strap or a white strap or a brown strap, whatever straps you have. You do you. I may as well continue on the bag front. Now the next bag is honestly so damn cute. And I know I call everything so damn cute because cute is my favorite word on the planet, but genuinely, this is like my Disney dreams. I know it's looking a bit disheveled because again, it's been in the packet. What's not to love? It's a mini pink rucksack that looks like Mickey Mouse or Minnie, Ma Minnie Mouse. How darn cute. It's just got a little front pocket here. You know, put your um, Disney tickets. I don't know, I've never been to Disney. I know, someone take me. How sad is that? I'm like the biggest Disney fan. I've never even been to Disney. My parents are horrible. No, I'm joking. And then in here, you've got quite a bit of space. Get your phone in there, get your money, get some snacks. And then, of course, it's just got the generic rucksack clippies. I'm determined. There we go. So you just hook that in there and that in there. And then you're like sweet and sassy. And this piece was £10.98 and it comes in a plethora of colours. I shall include some pictures here because genuinely it comes in about a million different colours. Just I had to go for the pink one because I'm Misha and I love Disney. I feel like that's, you're at one of those, um, you know, people are like, I'm blah, 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 and I'm addicted to Disney. And then we all discuss our problems. That's what I feel like. I need to go and say that I'm addicted to Disney. Moving onwards. Don't know what I'm talking about. Next is a shoesy piece. Do we all remember the time of the Uggs? I know people say that Uggs are the most unfashionable shoe on the planet nowadays, but 
mate, they were so fashionable at one point. Everyone was wearing them, everyone had fakes of them. And I mean, I still quite enjoy them for comfort reasons. I don't really care if I look like a tramp going around in my boots. They're quite expensive as well. But Dresslink have a basically fashionable, cool pair of Uggs. So can you imagine these like with your lounge wear, just like pop into the shops. You've got some cheeky faux fur here and they're in this really cool and original turquoise shade. These are a UK 6 which is a 39 and they're really comfy. They're genuinely going to keep your feet so warm and I just think they're quite different. Like it's like an upgrade on the Ugg. It's like a brand new sussier Ugg. Yeah, we'll go with that. And these were £19.95, which if you compare them to the price of Ugg boots, is crazy because, you know, Ugg boots are expensive. Moving onwards. The last item from Dresslink is probably actually my favourite because it's such a designer dupe. Like, genuinely, if you saw someone walking down the street in this, you'd be like, OMG, they loaded. They're not because it's from Dresslink and it was £26. I love how it, when I'm filming this, it's currently November 23rd and I'm already organised for Christmas and so is Mum because you know we're that extra. You look so adorable. I like my oh, I wasn't sure about the necklace and the choker. I love the top. It'll be linked down below, don't worry. So, this is the item in question. Now, this looks like Burberry. There's, there's no denying it. And it's one of those, what are these called? Like a throw on Ponchos. poncho that's the word mum's just in the background helping me as per oh mum someone commented saying about how do i have any friends why am i always with my mum like do i not realize that i'm screwing myself up and you're going to end up living with me or something <laughs> i was like yeah that's the plan mate if you're going to marry me you need to like my mum as well because she's part of the package we come as a two that's the rules uh, by the way just for the record misha has friends i do Misha's have friends this friend. Friends, friends, quote that I do have friends, don't I? Yeah, yeah, and also she's going away to London for two nights. You guys will have already seen the vlog, hopefully. That was the comment. So yes, this is undeniably Burberry. It's so classy, it's so snuggly, it's so cool, like genuinely. It was £26, so what not to love. This is my favourite piece from Dresslink. Just... It's amazeballs, and I do feel like it could kind of go with this outfit, like these sleeves sticking out underneath. Imagine these with like black jeans and some little black boots and you are set for winter. I think I just broke a Christmas decoration, but bada bing, bada boom. How snazzy is this? It looks so lovely with the blouse I was wearing. Maybe not with my pyjama trousers, but you know, just keeping it real on my channel. Oh my gosh, Misha, stop breaking all the Christmas decorations. I'm sorry, Rudolph. Anyway, this is such good quality. I think it looks so classy. I am so snuggly. What is not to like? And for a poncho, it's actually quite easy to move in. You know you normally feel like you can't really do anything, but because it's quite like a lightweight fabric, I can dance to my heart's content. Okay, next we're gonna move on to yoins. Yoin, yeah, yoin, yoins. And we picked up a plethora of pieces from Yoins. Also, that Burberry thing would make such a good present. Oh my gosh, imagine someone opening it and be like, oh my gosh, you got me Burberry. You're like, nah. It was from Dresslink and it was £26. Bargain Central. But it all to start with for Yoins. So, I'll just go for this bad boy because this is probably the sassiest piece of them all. Now, this is one of those Instagram tops that you see everywhere and then you can't find and you're just not cool enough. But I found it and hopefully I will be cool enough. So, it's a blue striped ruffled long sleeved blouse one shoulder thing in Bobby and it looks so sassy. I think this is such a cool wearable piece. It was only $17. Dollars, so that is that is darn good for a long sleeve top. I got this in an extra small. I would say it comes up a bit big, so I would size down. Like this is a bit big for me, and this is an extra small, so it really should fit me perfectly. But you know, it, with items like this, with any clothing brand, let alone Asian sizing, it can be a bit hit or miss. 
but because it's so inexpensive it's kind of worth the risk because you always get some absolute beauties and this is absolutely beautiful okay so Misha's just found her new favorite outfit how luscious does this Zara skirt look with the Yoins top I think this looks best on me when it's tucked in because it is like a little bit too big but when you've got all this going with the sleeves and the ruffles, it just looks so classy and so expensive. Imagine this is like red knee highs. I'm just obsessed with red at the moment, like red knee highs, red boots, red everything. So yeah, you're gonna see a lot of red coming up. But just, I'm so blown away. Like, you, you couldn't tell, you'd think this is from, I don't even know, like Zara. That is cray cray. Okay, this is a bit dirty because my sister's actually worn this. But this is just your generic black roll neck jumper dress. It's got the, I don't know whatever what they're called. I don't know if it's ribbing or pipe, I don't know. The bits that suck it in at the arms and at the bottom. So it's just a comfy sort of like loose oversized jumper dress. Again, this does come up a little bit big. So this is an extra small, but I'd say it's more like a small, but then I know the fit is supposed to be oversized. And this was only $13.95. It's just a really practical piece to have in your wardrobe for styling up this winter this season. This is just such an easy breezy piece to chuck on. It's really comfy. It's not that thick, so you would need to like layer up underneath, I reckon. But um, it's like a good length. I feel like though, on me, I need a belt with it. So let's try this out. I'm gonna see if this um, bag strap can double as a belt. So let's try. Just to give us you know, like a rough idea. Maybe this will make it look really Gucci. How does that look? Does that look cool? Does that look nice? Just no one can see us from behind because they can see that we're wearing a bag strap as a belt. Okay, this is another piece that you see floating around the internet so often and you never know where to get them. So it's this white cable knit from Yoins and it's like an off the shoulder one. So it's like sassy. Um, and this was only $17.95, which is really, really good for knitwear. It's actually a very nice quality knitwear. It's not too thick that you'd feel like you're being like a stuffed llama, but it's still thick enough that it would keep you warm. I can imagine it with like a cute little bra underneath, or just, you know, like the bare shoulder, because we know Misha likes to get out a bare shoulder. What is it? What is this? Your clavicle. Yeah, I heard someone talking about how your clavicle is your new cleavage. And if you don't know, this bit is your clavicle. And I mean, I don't have a cleavage, so I'll just get out my clavicle. Sorted. How snuggly and cool. I'm just gonna leave Rudolph down there. It's just not going for me. It's just not working. Is this jumper, well, sweater thingy. I would say you may need to probably, I would suggest wearing a bralette because wrong move and this situation is out but how nice is it with this necklace it's just really like comfy cozy yet cool like i didn't put any effort in but i still look like i've got my shiz together even though i don't but no one needs to know that do they this next piece is so funny and really good quality actually so if you're confused this isn't a jumper oh my gosh i wish this was a jumper that'd be such a cute pattern this is a mermaid tail. Yes, yes it is. And this is just a knitted mermaid tail. Great Christmas present. And I know these were going around online for ages, but this is like an extra big one. Like you could generally just like snuggle up in this for about 10,000 years. And this one was $29, which is a bit expensive for what it is, but I can kind of understand because it's knitted and it's huge, like it is huge. There is a lot of fabric here. It's obviously not like a sized item. I'm assuming it's a one size fits all, but I mean, I could probably get two people in there. So you get fabric per cost, if that's a thing. Don't know if it is. Next up, again, we just have a basic piece. So this is just an off the shoulder black jumpsuit, which is great for traveling, which Misha does very often so these pieces are always useful and uh, this was $23 this is a small I haven't actually tried this bad boy on so I don't know how it fits but it does look a little bit big but I think it's like an oversized slouchy look so we shall see but it's just a really useful piece for your wardrobe like it's one of those things that you just kind of need 
Okay, major dark horse of the competition. I feel like in every haul, the piece that I expect not to like, I actually do end up really liking. This is genuinely the comfiest thing ever. I know it's off the shoulder, and off the shoulder can be a bit of a pain, but it's got quite a good elastic, so it's not bugging me. And this is so comfy. Like, honestly, I think it looks quite, like, cool. Like, slouchy and cool. Do we think? I'm really liking this. The waistband is really nice. It's got like, this pull over effect, I don't know what that is called, but we'll go with it, I really like it. Last but not least, I have a piece which I think looks so, what's the brand? Sort of like misguided House of CB Mistress Rocks O Polly. Now, it's a bit screwed up, but it is this adorable nightwear-esque play suit. Now how lush would this look for the festive season? Team it with some red with some red lips, team it with a red lip, some red heels, some silver heels, a big silver necklace. Just the fabric and the quality of this is so beautiful and it's exactly what you would get in the UK but it was $15.95 which is such a bargain. It's got a beautiful open back, it's got these little off the shoulder pieces and I just think this is such beautiful quality and uh, this is a UK 6. This one does fit perfectly, it's a great size and I love it. Okay, how cute and darn expensive does this look? Genuinely, I think this is the biggest wow from the haul. This and the Burberry cape, I, not cape, poncho, because just genuinely it looks so classy. I know it kind of looks like you're wearing your pyjamas out but I really like that look and I can imagine this like knee highs and just oh I just absolutely love this. The fabric is so soft. It's literally the fabric that most brands in the UK would use and I mean what's not to love this is just so adorable. So that was round two of my testing Chinese brands clothing and accessories and shoes haul. I hope you enjoyed it and got some Christmas inspiration for gifts, for gifts for yourself, for more gifts for yourself for just some winter pieces, like check them out. Everything will be linked in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Let me know which item was your favorite, like get commenting. I'm always there waiting for your comments. I'm typing back, yeah, we can have a little chit chat about what your favorite item was. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys all next time. Merry Christmas. In like, 15 or so days, who knows, it's not that I'm counting or anything.